serious, Justin. You don't need to wait. Dr. Taylor can take forever, and I'll just grab a cab. I can't remember where I live. No, you know, I'm fine. I'll just wait in the waiting room. They have a five-star vending machine. Oh. Oh, hey, hi. Perfect timing. Holly, the doctor's actually ready for you. Oh, thanks, Annie. Um, I'll just do it as quick as I can, okay? And you two stay out of trouble. Just the driver. So, limo duty again, huh? Yes, yes. Well, it's very nice of you. You know, the doctor actually says that these sessions are really helping with her memory restoration. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, I think we're in the sheetrock and plaster phase. She's got a long way to go. You know, I never asked. What's your connection to her? Are you guys related? Or... Um, friend of the family. Really? Yeah. Wow, well, that's the kind of friend we don't like to have. So divorced. Or married and allergic to gold. Tan line? Oh, um, yeah, I was, I was married. Was? Are you sure you don't just take that off for my benefit? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm sure. The titanium tongue stud, I think I forgot <laughs> I think I'm allergic, actually. My tongue swelled up and I can't talk. Weird. Listen, my schedule's pretty screwy, but um, if you ever want to catch a movie or... Uh, 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 coffee. Coffee sounds great. What time do you get off today? How about four? Four it is. Great. All right. Okay. David! Annie. Hi. Uh, I thought you were supposed to go to town. I... That was you on my voicemail canceling our date, right? I mean, I don't think I know two Justin Walker. No, um, yeah, it was... It was me. I thought I thought I had to go out of town. What are you doing here? Uh, David's going through something, so I figured I'd come over and help him out. Wow. I, I gotta ask... You seem like you are one hell of a family friend. Do you owe them money? Do they have incriminating photos of you? No, no, no. Just a minute. Listen, I don't mind you canceling on our date. I really don't, but you didn't have to lie to me. Uh, Annie, um... I was married to their daughter, so that's... Oh, uh... <laughs> Well, that makes sense. Uh, so Dr. Taylor actually asked me to give these memory aids to Holly. Will you just tell her I say goodbye? Yeah, Annie. Look, no, just... no, no, it's Justin. It's no biggie. You're not ready to separate. I get it. Annie. Stole you a coffee. And I know you have a screwy schedule, so I was hoping that, you know, maybe we could find a sanitized corner. And... The thing is, my shift just ended, so I was just about to leave. Oh, well, maybe we can go somewhere, you know, have have an actual meal or, or go to a movie. <laughs> so what, you're suggesting we go off to some cozy restaurant, just you, me, and the in-laws? Ex-in-laws. They, they actually dumped me yesterday. It was pretty sad, but in a good way. <laughs> Are you sure you're ready for coffee? Caffeine is a gateway drug, you know. Can lead to lunches and dinners. What, well, you're in medicine. You know how sometimes you have to tell a patient that they don't need the crutches anymore, they can walk? Well, I'm ready to walk. Walk with me, then. I know a nice little sterile corner by the ICU. Ooh, sounds romantic. You know, you're never gonna be able to move on unless you do something about that tan line. Oh, right. Well, it's funny enough, I found a tiny tanning booth. Just those fingers. So now it looks like I'm wearing gloves all the time. 